This is the Stedler 502 lead pointer. So basically what this is, is a pencil sharpener for the Stedler Mars Technico lead sharpener or just a general lead sharpener, right? So for this kind of lead specifically, okay? So as you can see, the tip of my um, lead is already sharpened. So I'm actually gonna show you how you sharpen this by using the opposite side of the lead. Okay, so there we go, just enough. So it actually has two little holes right here and these are measures for how pointy basically you want your lead to be so i'll show you the first one right here so basically you stick it in there you, you put more than enough lead in the hole right and then you meet you press like this top the top and you meet it down to the size down to the top of this right and so now i can sharpen it by twisting it around in this main little section here until there's no resistance at all right and there is my sharpened lead and there's dust on it so they actually have this little dust cleaner right here you just kind of as far as i know you stick your, you stick your lip in there and it cleans off the dust or you can roll it on there i'm not really sure how you use it there's not really a tutorial for that but you know that's what it's for i just blow it off when i'm done sharpening it so that's one that's the first setting right now i'm going to show you this side of the lead because I've actually sharpened it with the top that comes with the Mars Technico. So I'll actually use the sharpener and show you the different results you get. So this is this like again, this is the top you get. It's pretty decently sharp. However, you can get it better with the lead pointer. So I'm going to stick it in the second hole right here. And then I'm going to press the top of it to meet it down to the top right here. And you see there's a different amount of lead off this time. So now I'm gonna stick it in the sharpener all the way until it's snug, twist it. Ooh. That is something that happens sometimes is that you actually can break your lead in there, so be careful. So I'm gonna put out some more. I'm going to measure it again in the second hole, press it down, and I'm gonna be careful this time not to break my lead. Okay, so there's my lead that got jammed in there. So that's unfortunate. However, it was caught in this little area as well. So that's what holds your shavings. Not that I got the opportunity to show you that. So now it's snug in there. I'm going to be more careful this time. Twist it in there until I get no resistance back. It seems to work better at the side angle, but that is what it looks like now. So now I can show you both sides of this lead that's been sharpened by the sharpener. So this is this is one side. That's that was the second setting, and this is the other one. So clearly, this one is a lot pointier and sharper than this side. So that's the variety you get with this, and it's pretty easy to use, and it doesn't take up much space. So if you want to have a little bit more control over how sharp your lead is out of your lead pointer, this is a good option for you, and you should get it.